And we're lost in a trackless desert. You have just become a vertical meal for the local welcoming committee. I apologize for your impending death, Jeb. Oh wait, he's actually climbing! What the hell? Well, so much for that. Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Just Aloy. as soon as I finish looting. Great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Just give me half a second. Priorities first, sir. Or science. This is bad. Okay, getting caught is bad. So it doesn't think much of my odds of surviving here for long. Which, honestly, that's fair. Uh... <laughs> Suddenly, I'm in agreement with it. I don't think this is how this is supposed to go down. <laughs> Ow! How did you not see me? Wow. Oh, you... Oh. Oh, that's rude. Oh god! What? Three nanites for a whole gold nugget? Dude, that's such a ripoff. I'm sorry. Wow. His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Oh, that's so cool. You can give yourself advantage by using Charm Person. Oh, I love that. Oh, they did a really good job with this. <laughs> Saved by guidance again. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... How are you not dead? Excuse me. Much left to do. See you at the ceremony, Mistios.
Bree once more. My driven acquaintance. She's my acquaintance. Saga has been released from her imprisonment at the hands of King Cossetin and is once again free. I have released your acquaintance from my prison to serve as my concubine, the foul fiend. Wow. This game is not so much a war game as a drama game. Holy crap. She's not considered my spouse anymore. Up again. You know, we've had a redemption for a terrible pun or dad joke. Brace yourselves. How did the police end up catching the man who was on the run in the bathroom? He stood on a set of scales and gave himself away. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Oh, okay. Battle it is. Now we got to try and murder them really, really fast. Oh, I didn't actually want to murder Liam. I, um... I can't help but notice that this might be a little bit bugged because in spite of the fact that she's standing there and talked to us, the game does seem to think that Barth here is dead. Coward almost got us killed. Take you. Now she is no longer dead. She's also called Ramira. Katori's Museum, where the past comes to life. Scrawled at the bottom in small text, it says, The Church of the Light requires us to specify that this is a metaphor. Wow, <laughs> not bad. Oh. Oh my god! What? what is this gang up on Gordonite? Fine. <laughs> oh. Right. Let's not do that again. Oh my god! <laughs> These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Okay, this game already knows how to push my buttons. Archaeology in a Zelda game? Yes. These Might these ruins be from the Zonai? Something's moving something around pretty good. Here. 
some kind of... Oh, that's a spider. Get out of here. You know, I'm actually starting to regret even putting on level 1 arachnophobia. The eight legs are kind of a nice giveaway that, hey, there's a spider. Whoops. Can we go now, please? Oh, crap. Uthgird! You made it mad at me. Oh, <laughs> Guys, the 30th anniversary edition. Oh my god, I used to play this game, the this edition of the game. I Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore for a relatively short... I'm not planning on maybe going past 2, 2.30, 3 at the outside... Uh, but yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of a short stream for Starfield. How's it going, Jared? What the heck? Let me get over to my other scene. There we go. Let's redo this. What do you call birds that stick together? Velcros. Uh, thank you so much for 51 months, Jarek. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. What's going on? I hope you've had a fantastic day. Uh, Tradesman Bob, it's always a pleasure, of course, to see you. What do you Paul call birds well. that stick together? Velcros. Uh, okay, so we had two of those stuck together, too. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to do some Starfield tonight. I am kind of tired, and I have to be ready to do a hopefully Baldur's Gate stream tomorrow. Uh, because my collector's edition box should finally be arriving tomorrow. I can't wait. I'm so excited for that. How's it going, Anstara? It's good to see you. Um, I am having some technical issues with Twitch tonight. That's part of the reason why I'm a little bit later than I wanted to be starting the stream up. I don't know if it's impacting you guys at all, but you might notice, or you might not, that uh, the title is a little out of date it's got the wrong stream number, and it's saying we're doing a bunch of stuff that we may or may not end up doing in in Starfield. At least the game is correct, and the you know the the category is correct. But I can't update any of that information at all. I tried like a dozen times; it will not change anything. I also tried to do a shorter intro and run the ads earlier. Couldn't do that either. I don't know what's going on. I hope uh, Twitch gets it sorted out very quickly, though. Otherwise. I'm going to be streaming under the Starfield category tomorrow for Baldur's Gate 3, and that's going to be confusing. Day was long and nice, gamed with brother and later with a friend. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. That is great to hear. Uh, speaking of gaming, where is Starfield? We need to get back into this. I'm starting to get to the point in my off-stream save where... I don't know that I can necessarily build a big enough ship for what I want to do with it. So that's fun. I made some changes today, and I don't know yet whether I like them or not. Five thirty a.m. though, and later this afternoon is another granny ninety plus birthday. Oh, that's awesome, Jarig. All right, let's load up character selection. Nope, we want this one. I appreciate the lurk as always, Jarek. Okay, so let's see what we end up with here. 
All right, so we're back here. Man, this ship actually looks a little small now. Uh, what were we working on? I don't even remember. Uh, you know, I wonder if we should just try Lindinium. Return to Vectera. Oh, Barrett, I keep putting this one off. Maybe, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should finally go rescue Barrett, who's been held captive for probably months at this point. He might appreciate a pickup. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Oh, thank you. Narian system. Argos Extractor's mining outpost. Apparently we've been there before. I don't remember going there, but it's definitely possible. It would seem that the work here has come to an end. Oh, wait a minute. Have we... Uh, ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just one minute. This is the... We don't even have Lin yet? Okay. This is the this is not Barrett. This is Barrett and Heller. We kept putting it off because I have to use a different ship. Except it looks like my ship is actually working, so the patch today must have corrected that. That's awesome. Lynn, we can finally do stuff. Well, you're back. Lynn. Oh no, don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They didn't make it. I'm sorry, Lynn. I didn't know. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lin. I got you. I know that talk. Suicide mission. For some, perhaps. Barrett is quite capable. All things considered. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's temporal lobe. And that's when they brought out Hella. <sighs> it was going so well until that part. I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, Barrett put his hands up and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. And that's the last I saw of either of them. I need to find Barrett and Heller. They could have grab jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. <sighs> I've lost a lot of people on this run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. Okay, excellent. I'm excited we actually get to do this mission. And it's gonna theoretically work this time. Because I'm not gonna need that, huh? Okay, we need that. Argos Extractors Vectera Dig. Freestar Collective Claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. As far as anyone knows, this is just another ore run. Vectera's got enough mid level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. I've told Hella everything he needs to know, which is pretty much everything I know. This is another one of Barrett's special orders. 
He made good with the payment for Kazal, even if it was a bust. This time, I'm not so sure. This place is giving me the willies. I think we're going to find... something. I just have no idea what it could be, or why Barrett might want it. But those sweet constellation credits mean we dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully, between Barrett's mysterious thing and the ore itself, we'll be done with this rock in five days, when the transport is supposed to come back for extraction. Okay. We're just going to loot the place a little bit. I'm not going to go through and exhaustively search everything. But we do need three power things. So at a minimum, I've got to find those. They shouldn't be hard. We don't need to go back down into the mines. Supervisor's log. It's day two of Argus Extractor's Victera dig. Freestar Collective Claim ID Beta 7548-Alpha. Site setup was fairly painless. New record for us, 18 hours, including the elevator. The prefabs are starting to show their age, though. Time to re-budget for new equipment. Again. The crew is good. Spirits are high enough. Hella is a pain in my ass, as always. And completely indispensable. What's the saying? The problem is, I love him, and he knows it. <laughs> Ugh. Calvert remains the weak link. He just can't train away stupid. But she's got a daughter on Mars or someplace and needs the cred, so she gets one more chance. If she does wash out in the end, we've still got the dust scene. And there's definitely some promise there. Ah, That would be us. That's two. That is a very inconveniently placed med pack. Can I close the door? No. Oh, maybe here? Sorry about that. And three. I'm going to keep poking around a little bit, but like I said, I'm not going to try to grab everything. I do want the useful stuff, though. Take a little too much on. Literally. There is no such thing as too much in this game. Such lies will not be tolerated. There's one thing I was kind of keeping my eye open for, and I haven't seen it yet. Oh. 
Mining suit maintenance. Of all the hazards that exist out there in space, you'll find yourself easily forgetting about CO2 buildup in your respirator. That's a huge mistake. Even a small amount of CO2 is going to add up over the course of your day, sapping just a little bit of life out of you when you need it. Running is harder, swinging that cutter around takes more huff than you want, and when a tunnel collapses, you want to be moving as fast and as across the longest distance as possible. Invest in a good helmet, trust me. The rest of the chapter continues to recite the importance of quality equipment. There is supposed to be a unique cutter here. Heller's cutter. I was kind of keeping an eye out for that, and I don't see it anywhere. I would kind of expect it to be somewhere in this room. It could be somewhere else, but. Personal log. Heller, Argos extractors. I figured Vectera for your standard moon. Looks like I was misinformed. Lynn just filled me in on what we're really doing here. Looks like Lynn's got another. What's the word she used? Discreet contract with that Barrett guy. He says there's something special here, and he's paying top dollar for us to find it, rip it out, and deliver it. No questions asked. I have, of course, been honoring this arrangement by asking Lynn a ton of questions. She's playing it close to her sweaty old best, as usual. Uh-huh. But a guy does have to wonder, what the hell does special even mean in this case? We're on a moon, in the middle of nowhere. Either this guy wants to make jewelry from some rare space diamonds, or there's some kind of ancient alien death weapon buried here. If it's diamonds, I'm totally stealing one to give to Jennifer. Or Carlos. Or Naya. And if it's a death weapon, I get to shoot it first. Those are my terms. Oh, I wonder... I wonder if it's in here. Crap. This is probably where it would be, now that I notice this. There's another power thingy in there, too. Okay, let's take a look at my skills here. What have we got our lock picking up to security rank okay I need rank three for that how close am I to ranking up not close enough dang it might have to come back here at some point oh well doesn't matter I don't desperately need it there's nothing special about it except that it's supposed to have a unique name and a different color and that's about really it so it's not that red one I just picked up. suppose the other option is it might be somewhere in here. Expert lock.
Okay, so it looks like we've got a few different ones that could potentially compete for opening this one. I'm guessing it's probably not this, because there's no two that match that. That looks promising, though. Yeah, that'll do it. gotten five of those power things now. Which is actually honestly kind of a bit of a problem because they're sort of heavy. Not that that's going to stop me. Emergency transmission. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gonna tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. We're doomed. Capital B, doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Okay. Constellation ship incoming. Pirates arrive twice. Constellation ship incoming again. That would be us right now. It's a shame they weren't a little more clear about what they want, though. Yeah, you know, speaking of uh, Barrett and Heller there. Hex, how's it going? It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well today. Permanently increases EM weapon damage by 5%. Nearly 6 a.m. and you've barely been able to sleep? Oh, that does not sound great. I am very sorry. And here I've been complaining that I'm tired.
Someone keeps their spacesuit in the bathroom. I mean, I'm not judging. It's got to go somewhere. Space is not exactly something they have in luxurious supply here. So I guess you make do with what you got. Let's call that good. So, you actually get that computer working again? I found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand... Okay, let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Thanks, Lynn. I knew it. You care about them. You're a softie. Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes, all right. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Maybe it's time to put Argos behind me. After two pirate attacks in a row, I don't blame you. Seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. If uh, you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. You're a capable I outpost manager. Argos and I could use a change of scenery. Get on board. You're just the kind of traveling companion I want. You should come along. Works for me. I'm not fussy about assignments. I'll go where I'm needed. Okay. I actually can't put her on the ship, but we can unassign Vasco. Right. I'll get to work. Let's catch up later. Now, the problem is, she's not actually all that great on a ship. She's a lot better if you put her on an outpost. But since I don't have an outpost yet, we'll have to keep her on the ship for now. We can always get Vasco back again. Your abilities are... Yeah, in my other stream, I've got, like, the one beginning outpost that I created just to kind of get a feel for it, and she's currently managing that. Now, I think I've got Hella assigned there with her, actually. I hope in this playthrough to give them a much better outpost to live at. Maybe one where they can even, you know, breathe without needing a suit. That might be nice. Coddled employees. <laughs> okay. Where to next? Travel to Miatha. Oh, this is... Okay, so uh, speaking of Heller...
heck is that? That's huge, is what that is. Heller, you can wait a few more minutes, right? We need to check this out. Oh, you know what we need to do before we check this out? It might be nice to stop carrying the weight of the world literally on my backpack. We couldn't breathe even with our suits. We held our breath. Yeah, I know things were rough back then. Uh, 15 weapons. That's probably not helping. What the heck, Guardian? Thank you so much for using your Prime sub here. You are now officially a lore keeper. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well tonight. What's going on? Starship repair facility or something. Nope. Weapon station. Interesting. I don't know if I've come across one of these before. I love it every time I come across one of these that I've never seen. Because at this point, it sort of occasionally gets to the point where it feels like I've seen all of them. Then every once in a while the game says, nope, I still got stuff left to surprise you. Warning, pirates have tracked one of the delivery ships back to our location. All facility workers are to ex are expected to follow emergency protocol. If able, destroy all confidential information and proprietary technology. Follow evacuation procedures as described by your supervisor. If captured, do not reveal any confidential information. I'm running into a lot of master locks lately. I don't know if level 3 lockpicking is the next thing I need to get but it's definitely coming up
I think I need to start improving scavenging soon, though. Maybe even more than lockpicking. You could have followed me in, Andresia. Might have saved you a little bit of a headache. Getting annoyed at my crashes that are probably my fault? Oh no, what's going on? I've I've had a number of crashes today myself. Not on stream yet. It's just one of those things where you kind of have to start going old school and making sure that you save the game every once in a while. Especially before and after anything really significant that you know is going to happen. Hey, she's still hanging in there. Take your best shot. Wait, am I using the wrong gun? That's better. That's the right gun. There we go. Ow. Catastrophic damage. I love the gravity here. Holy crap. Okay, where are they? Reactive Refined Pirate Survival Balanced Pack. Legendary. Not bad. Gotta give Andresia credit. There's an awful lot of pirates here. How did she not get downed? here. Oh no, that was a piece of explosive debris. Got it. Ah. 
radioactive Orion. Gotta be around the other side, right? There you are. Watch out, Andresia. This falls inwards. There you go. we can properly start looting this place. I figure we probably got almost all of them. Let us try not to be responsible for any industrial sized accidents while we are here. No promises. There's gotta be stuff in here. There might be something useful in all this. That's my thinking exactly. Running the game on a less than min spec video card. Ooh, ouch. Yeah. Well, I mean, at least you're running it. That that there's that. That that's a plus. The fact that it runs on the card at all though is surprising. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's encouraging. saw somebody wandering around out there. Surprisingly little stuff here. Okay, that room beside us looks pretty good. there's any chance it'll let us on board that ship. It's probably not a real ship, though.
Skip shot specialized calibrated rattler. Too bad. Okay, so that goes there, and we're going to... Hmm. Yeah, that should work. Oh, I guess we have to do the outer ring first, huh? Okay. Oh, that's a problem. Or not. Hope you can succeed at that before we are discovered. Don't rush me. It takes concentration. Ooh. Legendary Concussive Orion. Nice. Further increases magazine size and weapon bash critical chance for all allied armaments guns. Daryl, we've told you a million times it's none of our business what the client is going to do with their shipment, so stop asking. It makes them nervous and it's bad for business. I don't care if it's weapons, chems, or tech, it doesn't matter. What the client does with them is their problem. If something happens, we don't want to be implicated. This is becoming a bad habit of yours. Don't let it happen again. And reading that makes me realize that I have actually been to one of these before. It's just that I was at one of them with a different ship up here. And it was daylight on a very different planet. Head over to the crash site over there.
So how's everyone's night going? How did everybody's weekend go? Didn't really get a chance to catch up yesterday. I hope you're all doing well. Was okay, I am glad to hear that. Still, let me patch you up. Nah, nah, I'll, I'll be all right. Just, you know, wasn't trying to move around too much with all the painkillers and nausea meds running through me. Man, I was so terrified when I got pulled on board that pirate ship. There it was all. Sorry, brother. I'll get us out of this. Trust me. All right, guys. Five minute warning on ads. Trust me is my go-to line when someone shouldn't trust me. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. He tells me we need to start pretending to fight each other. <laughs> Trick the pirates into thinking they need to come in before one of us gets killed. I just remember him shouting, This kid is a killer. How am I supposed to defend myself against these hurly whites? He's gonna bite my face off. I mean... I didn't think it would work, but they came in. All of a sudden, we were wrestling with two of them. Barrett reached for one of their guns. And he shot someone he shouldn't have. He shot something he shouldn't have. Bingo. Blasted the pilot right in the back. <laughs> Through to the flight console. Oh boy. And dropped orbit like a rock off a high rise. <sighs> I blacked out. And when I came to, there he was, smiling like it was just another day on the job. You missed the fun part, Heller. I mean, I go through all the trouble of saving your butt, and you weren't even awake to notice. Man, he did the little finger gun thing. He really survived the crash without a scratch? So, I caught him holding his ribs a few times. <laughs> Favorite his left leg a bit, you know? But Barrett isn't here. I need to find him. Oh, yeah. Probably should have talked about that first. <laughs> Did I mention I'm on a lot of painkillers? So, I was real excited when a ship showed up. <laughs> then, less excited when I realized... It was a crimson fleet ship. And then, really, really less excited when Barrett said, It's okay. I got this. He mumbled something to him, and then they were all gone. The crimson fleet has him. Again. I was drifting in and out, but... Yeah, I think so. Got a signal from the ship before they grab jumped. Guessing it was Barrett. Haven't really been in a good <coughs> space to have a listen. Here you go. Hey, uh, uh, I should come with you, right? I don't think anyone else is coming. Yeah, you'd better. You'd you'd better get back. Let's get you on your feet first. Yeah, just uh. Don't ask me to operate any heavy machinery for a while. So flying the ship is out of the question now. I think the worst of it is... Yeah, I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Ready to wisecrack with the best of them. Let me know when you want to head out. You okay now? Not everything in the galaxy needs to come with us, you know. 
I'm gonna have to agree to disagree on that one. I don't think there's a whole lot in this wreck to loot, sadly. Now, he is coming along, right? Or do I actually... No, I think I need to talk to him again. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Yep, let's get going. Whew, oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. For a second there, I thought you were gonna leave me behind. What's on the agenda today? Escape. You got it. Catch you on the flip side, boss. Thanks for letting me tag along. No problem, sir. Let's just get back to the ship there, and we'll get out of here. And uh, then it might be a good time to start the break after that. Okay, guys, I need to get up and I do some stuff for, for a few minutes, so if you need to get up yourselves and grab some food or drink or snack or something, this is a really good opportunity. I will meet you back here in just a few. You find a single silver coin, carefully polish it and place it in your pouch. What a way to make a living. That'll do it. You're at the west end of a long hall. There is a north-south passage here. There are ah. threatening dwarves here. Knives are thrown. None of them hit you. Goodbye. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting such a direct attack. Could you keep that down, please? You're making it hard to aim. Thank you. Oxygen. Oh shoot. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> First death. Field's gonna come out, and every other game in existence is going to stop. Big. Clearly, I need to rethink my addition of anti gravity mods. Oh my god. They have my Tartan. That's amazing. Hey, Mad. Interesting that they chose this particular tartan of the Clan MacLeod. Sorry, we have to get out. Amicia. This way. Oh, 
Sorry, dude. It was you or us. I picked us. I can't get much closer, game. Way to go, Pathfinder. As you plunge towards the base of the cliff, mommy escapes your lips. Okay, I am back. Um, I don't know if it's fixed the crashes. It probably fixed some. It didn't fix everything for me. Uh, where are we headed? Listen to emergency transmission two. You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move. He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah, thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Thank you, Unstar. I am up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. Okay, I've never heard that audio log before. I guess that's something I need to listen to in my other save as well. Travel to Bessel 3. Ransacked Research Outpost. Ready for touchdown. Not enough oxygen to breathe. Helmet Sadista. What is this? Aluminum? There we go. Oh, you know what we should do before we go infiltrating the pirate base? We should probably offload crap. I think I put all my digipics away, didn't I? There we go.
I could probably get rid of most of these mines, actually, now that I think about it. I never use mines. I think that'll do nicely. Man, they had us park really close. You know, I'm missing some of my abilities from the other playthrough that I don't want to spoil for you guys. I think after we're done this particular part of the game, we might need to go looking for new abilities. There's one in particular that I really want. Would you please die already? Thank you. does not look like a working computer. got here. Let's leave the turrets activated on our side. That's what I like to hear. Hey, you're not supposed to heat? That's... Healing is forbidden, sir. That's only for me. Maybe my friends. Getting up there in cash. Very nice. I will very shortly be able to pay off my dream home. 
if, you know, I actually feel like it. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to do that. I'm Well, I will eventually. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to do that at the very first opportunity. We do have a ship to upgrade, after all. Greeny, how's it going? It's good to see you. I meant to ask you, actually, I had a hell of a time getting stream started today. Have you been having any issues updating stream info? I was not able to change my stream title today. Or a bunch of other things. I can't start ad breaks earlier than Twitch wants to run them. It's really kind of irritating. I can't change basically anything. I can't edit tags. I can't do a new category. Well, actually, I, in fairness, I didn't try a new category. But there's lots of stuff I couldn't do. How is Baldur's Gate treating you? Uh, I don't want to just pump you in for Twitch information. I hope the uh, game is going well. By the way, guys, Greeny is a fantastic streamer who is also streaming right now. I guess uh, you must be on a break right now or something. You must be very close to finishing Baldur's Gate 3. So if there are anybody, any people hanging out in chat that don't know Greeny, please make sure you go give him a follow. Maybe consider watching both of us at the same time, especially if you're into Baldur's Gate. He is basically the preeminent Baldur's Gate streamer, as far as I'm concerned. Changed my title, added a new tag. Interesting. Okay. So it's not a universal error that's going on then. But wait, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just pick up a freaking pile of VHS tapes? What the hell was that? Antique videotape. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> the third of the three big bosses, holy crap, Greeny. Oh man, these things bring back memories. Look at that, it's still recordable and everything. Oh, nope. What nutcase brought them into space, I know, right? Hey, Cobra, how's it going? I'm on the other side of the game. You only just found Carlac. There were people who play the entire game and never find Carlac, so you're doing pretty good. Then another scenario, then the final bit. Don't know if we'll get to that tonight, but we shall see. Yeah, you're so you're very close one way or another. Probably only, you know, the rest of this stream, maybe one or two more streams at the absolute maximum, I would guess. At least for this first playthrough. I assume this is a game you're going to be coming back to. We scouted the perfect spot on Bessel 3, a little outpost where a bunch of bookworms spend their time doing who knows what. Best part is, it's completely unguarded. Take care of anyone there, and we've got ourselves a secluded spot to do whatever we need without anyone finding out. Easy job. Don't screw this up. You still have your VCR and tapes? I still have a pile of tapes. I don't have anything to play on the play them on, though. I haven't had a VCR in a gazillion years or so. I very quickly and definitively started going digital a long time ago. Only had her for an hour or so, and she is delightful? Yeah, I, I really like Carlac.
Okay, let's crack this one open. Okay, that'll go like that, and then... Ooh, that's... Yeah, that works. Okay. So this will go... Here... And here. How quickly can you get that done? Already done. Listen, I realize we're kind of known for being bat dasses and all that, but seriously, clean up after yourselves. I tossed my VHS tapes back in 2004, then I tossed my two players all because my shelf with them fell down in the middle of the freaking night, waking me up. Done with this. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, that would do it. That would do it. For me, it was... Uh, I, I, I'm a little bit of a habitual collector. I don't come by that trait in video games without cause. I tend to do it a little bit in real life, too. Not to the point of being an actual hoarder. I save that for the video game space. But I had at one point a reasonable collection of VHS tapes and not a whole lot of space. So I was very quick to dump the tapes or, or at least stop collecting them. I dumped a lot of them, too, actually, eventually. But um, DVDs were just so much smaller and easier to store. And that's pretty much the same reason that I was very quick to go ebook and then to subsequently drop, or mostly drop, DVD and Blu ray in favor of pure streaming because it's just, you know, I like to collect, but I don't necessarily have all the space in the world to collect with. Exactly. She gets me. The Crimson Fleet are all too willing to prey on the weak or defenseless. Perhaps we will show them what it means to put up a fight. You don't think we just did that? Can't help but notice that my stealth meter is green. Also, it looks weird. Oh yeah, there's no certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. Much like Pulling roads. Leg again, right? No exaggerations this time. <laughs> hmm. What the hell is he making friends with the pirates? I have a few hundred DVDs, Blu-ray standing around, a few unopened, most untouched for years, a few unavailable, purely digital, yeah. Once I started really going digital, I turned all of my DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff into uh, files on my Plex server. Skill bonus acquired. Store prices are permanently reduced by 2% and I missed the rest of it, but I like store prices being reduced. I assume it's a sell price improvement. Holy shit. You actually found me. I do not understand. Is Barrett being held hostage or not? Well, this is turning into a regular constellation party, isn't it? It should have brought drinks. 
I'm here to take you home, Barrett. Are you friends with the pirate? Matsura the Grim here and I actually have a lot in common. Both escape artists. Being captured by Sistep myself plenty of times. See, that's what I'm talking about. Relativity. We're all just creatures of the universe trying to get away from what's after us. Yes. I don't know why, but yes. Well, you didn't need to worry too much. Matsura the Grim here is actually a wonderful host. No reason captivity should be unpleasant. See, that's what I mean, Matsura. Real considerate. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom? How much are you talking? Eh, at this point, we're starting to make money pretty handily. That settles that. Goodbye, Barrett. I have enjoyed our time together. I don't suppose we can Likewise, recruit him. Good luck with all the, uh, you know, pirating. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> He's just here having his own version of story time for like three different pirates. Alright, let's get the heck out of here before they change their minds. I hope they don't mind that they are now the last of this particular group of pirates. All their friends are kind of dead. Barrett is such a protagonist. <laughs> I have Star Wars VHS tapes and that's about it. I don't actually own a VHS player anymore. Yeah, I'm sure I probably got like four different sets of the Star Wars films on VHS. I used to collect those very specifically every edition I could get my hands on. Surroundings. Crimson Fleet has been here, and may still be skulking about. Uh, we just, but were you not here for that conversation, Andresia? We just talked to them. Surprisingly civilly. Less way they need to split that ransom, then. That's true. That's a good point. Adventure you can fly away from. Uh, actually, hang on. So, I wasn't... Back to the lodge. Okay, he is on board. Good. That's what I was just concerned about. Lodge sounds like a good place to me. Okay. I just want to see something here. Yeah, okay. One of these days I'm going to have to take a jaunt outside of the city. In my off-stream game I was sharing on Discord some pictures. I managed to get outside of the city and realize that this is all just one big world space, the same as any other world you'd go down and visit. And that you can, like, right up there is, yeah, that's the residential district. You got your you know, residential towers and whatnot. All the stores are up there. You can kind of just walk right out of the city in some points there, and you can make your way all the way down and get all the way down here to the spaceport. And I went and visited that unknown thing, which 
if it's consistent, I don't know how the uh, the randomization works, if it would maybe generate into a different structure in this save as opposed to the other one. But in my off-stream save, that was like um, an abandoned starship repair hangar. We might have to go visit that at some point. Not because it was so amazingly awesome that it needs to be seen, but just because it's a really handy fast travel point for exiting the spaceport here into the rest of the map without having to go all the way up there and back and down and around. Oh no, they kind of have it walled off, don't they, down here? Huh. Okay. Well, I guess they don't want you taking unexpected high dives. Good to know. Ah, uh, hello. One day, I'm gonna leave you. Yep. Actually, you can get out pretty easily right around here if you really want to, um, and if you don't get stuck there. And just like that, I'm outside. Sideways monorails. What possible reason could there be other than not like other game syndrome. I don't know. How are things going, Watai? I don't think I actually said hi earlier. I apologize for that. Us here are at an all-time low. I have been idle here for a long time. I believe Barrett would describe this state as bored. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. <laughs> Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign when he's worried. Don't start, Country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library shelf. Now look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, I had the visions. Being around them is just... Comforting. So, mm -hmm. hey, I, I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Going to school. Oh, boy, Wittai. I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope it goes well together. If you're coming with me, who's in charge of the frontier? It doesn't really matter to me. Never get too attached to ships. 
After the fifth or sixth time one blows up and you get marooned. The romance fades, plus the <laughs> frontier is a constellation ship. And you're one of us now. So it's just as much yours as mine at this point. Well, that's good, because it may look a little different than you remember. Marvelous. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. Okay, we are now officially into new main story content, guys. I have never gotten this far. I've never rescued Barrett. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. I'm interested. Let's hear it. It's about an artifact. And our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. I'm in. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. I'm sure we have room for you on the ship, Walter. Might be cramped compared to what you're used to, but it'll get you there. Did It'll you not pay attention easy. on the trip over? I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. I know, Cobra. I love it, though. It's so good. There are so many Star Trek actors in this. It's really fun. At least three that I can think of offhand, and I believe there's actually a fourth as well. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Okay, let's go. We might take a little bit of a sidestep mission, though. I wouldn't mind seeing if I can upgrade the inner workings of the ship a little bit. Oh yeah, what time? Not only is Walter here, uh, well, Walter back there, Quark from Deep Space Nine, but if you pick the trait that means you've still got your parents alive and around and you're paying them money every week, your mom is voiced by Major Kira from Star Trek Deep Space Nine, and your dad is voiced by Tuvok from Voyager. Yeah, exactly what Cobra was just saying. You have my attention. Oh, 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 uh oh. We might be... Yeah, there we go. We just crashed. Okay. So, no. The patch today did not, in fact, stop all the crashing. And then I believe there's one of the younger actors from Discovery also does some voice work in this game, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. We didn't lose very much in the way of progress, at least.
Okay, off to the spaceport. That is convenient, but riding right after eating can give you stomach aches. Barry Wiggins? Oh, really, what's I? Who did he play on Trek? I did not know that. I was mainly thinking in terms of people who have been, you know, main characters, but... It's good to be home, right? But it's, it's okay. awesome to open it up to people that have just appeared as well. Inspector. Hey, what can I do for you? Okay, no problem. Let's upgrade the ship here. A MUN 4 engine. Oh, we still have a MUN 3 engines. Hang on, let's go into ship builder. Okay, so we've got a MUN 4, we've got a MUN 4. These two here are still a MUN 3. Let's see what we've got available. All we can do is a MUN-4. That's fine. We can finish the upgrade. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to duplicate that. Now, as far as our reactor goes, we have the 144mm toroidal. That's class A with 23 power generation. I don't think we're going to do better than that yet. Oh, oh, hang on. Is that... No, that's Class B. Okay. I can't do Class B yet. So that's about as good as it gets. And we've got the R3000 Alpha Grav Drive. And it looks like we can upgrade that one. He was a policeman in Voyager, one show, and a Jem'Hadar in Voyager. It's 60-ish years. I'm sure there are a few guest stars that are in here also. Probably, yeah. That's awesome, Matai. So, Class A, Max Power 9. Grav Drive, Jump Thrust, 27. Not bad. And then this is potentially even better. Max power 10. Oh, but that's class B. Okay. I'll have to go with the R4000, I think. That's class C. Yeah, we'll do that. Now, it might be worth looking at the weapon loadout here, too. Dragon 221P pulsed lasers. Hopefully that'll work out. Uh, 
Okay, what's going on here? Why, 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 why? Max power. Oh, shoot. I might need more of these things. Oh, you can't do the equipment plate? Crap. Oh, but, okay. This is gonna have to move. Two seventy A. What can we do better there? Probably not all that much. It looks like I'm spending a fortune already. I wish you could filter. I'd love to just look at weapons of a particular type. hide my shield emitter. Ah, there it is. Let's see if I can afford to upgrade that. Yeah, I can do that. Three errors, what do we got? Too few landing gears, contains, oh, shoot. Oh, right, that, okay, never mind that one then. One error. Missing a weapon assignment. Sixty-six missiles? Wait, did I put too many missiles in? What happened? Max power six. I've got two of them. That should be perfect. We're going to ignore that error. Who knew Barrett was also a flight attendant?
So we're off to Neon. Oh, actually, this is a good opportunity. I want to see if the patch fixed the problem we have with the guy not showing up. Hey, you might want this. What's up? Here, I got this for you. For me? Thank you. Yes, of course it's for you. Anyway, I figured you might have a use for it. Thank you, sir. You're quite welcome. If I see anything on our next expedition to a planet, then I'll hang on to it for you. Awesome. Sadly, it does not look like he's around. See that huge shield? It's part of the power system. Lightning provides a substantial amount of Neon's energy. Oh well. No missing NPC retrieval for us. Matt, smell that? Construction. Incense. Industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. Hmm. Chasm bass? A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. People are getting high off fish? Something to do with Chasm Bass's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. Ah, I've been warned against that one. We need to stop by the Stroud Equim offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Not a problem, sir. Come along. Jobs and we can move along. See that huge shield? It's part of the power system. Lightning provides a substantial amount of neon's energy. I was fascinated the first time. It's even better the second time. Come on, Walter. Alright, fine. You can catch the next one. Did we have to talk to Walter before we enter? Um. I'm confused. Benjamin Bayou's Tower. It's big, all right. Not sure what else it is, but it's. <laughs> Let me just make sure we're actually on the right mission. Where are we? All that money can buy. Check it. Yeah. What the? Lounge spared no expense with their marketing, huh? It's a regular John Hammond. Oh, what? I didn't know there was another office. I thought he meant the showroom. Mr. Stroud. We didn't know you were coming in. 
It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she into it? Yes. Uh, allow me to bus you in, sir. No, Mrs. Charles, you are so lucky. Okay. Walter. Isa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Charmed, Miss Eklund. I envy you and your partner's success. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. I love this part. I am 100% behind embarrassing Walter Moore. <laughs> I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Oh, this wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. <laughs> Did you have an agent hack into my files again? <laughs> Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? So our meeting is at the Astro Lounge. I also send my love with freelance operatives. Oh, don't mind the two of us. Challenging each other intellectually is a cornerstone of our relationship. Now I must point out the obvious. The Astro Lounge. Huh? It's a remarkably insecure location. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. Wow. Yes, I love this, Unstara. This is, this is amazing. Investigate the cellar, case the Astral Lounge. Got it. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Okay. That's pocket money, but it'll do. Uh, also, we've got roughly a minute and a half before the next ad break, guys. What else do we have here? Sky Suite, Restricted, Slayton Aerospace, Xenofresh Corporate HQ, Kelts Corp, Jennerdyne Industries, Core Kinetics. I really need to poke at these elevators more often. I had no idea there was another Stroud Eklund office. That's really cool. Okay. We are clear across town, but we need to stop at James Newell's shop first, I believe. Someone's 
I would have loved to hang around here as a kid. Now I realize how dangerous that could be. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, we're a little bit too close to the ad break for me to start the conversation, so why don't I just start the ads now, or the clips at least, and uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes, so if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack, actually give me six to eight minutes, I'm going to make myself some tea, so I'll be back very shortly. You know, for just getting around, I think I prefer this design to the usual design. The more narrow wheelbase is apt. <laughs> Sorry, Garshell. Oh my god. Uh, it's, it, it's much easier to maneuver, mostly, until somebody rides a horse into you. It's been a bit of a day. Lots of things going right, lots of things going wrong. My airport is still on fire. What the hell? Okay. Um. No time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. You'd think they'd be suspicious of a little flying helicopter like this buzzing around. Really? I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Another step. Um, Nettie? Continuing the tradition of Star Wars characters losing hands, then. Just like the generator outside! Only huge! What are you doing? Mom, stop! Mom, are you... you gotta get out of there, man. Can you move? Yeah. Go down that hallway. Now! Tabletops have the best return for me so far. For me, I think it's got to be RimWorld. Oh my... Whatever is in that hole just enjoyed lunch on you. This should teach you to be cautious when encountering alien holes. Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably. <laughs> A huge green fierce dragon bars the way. Large if you'd be gold interested in nuggets. The dragon doesn't seem to be interested in that. What kind of dragon are you? Ooh. 
Oops. Albion Detention Center somewhere in the borough. According to oh. what I could pass, it was used to interrogate high-value local insurgents. This is one less weapon in their arsenal. I can't believe this was actually useful for something. <laughs> that was... <laughs> wow. Good job. We'll open the portal on your mark. Say off. Hello? Oh, pfft. well, I got him. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a new combat technique I had never considered before. Don't hunt Loc- oh my god, she- She hunted Locust and killed her. You, sir, are unbelievably rude. Knocked out temporarily. Holy crap. Gale, you're suddenly a badass. Okay, I am back. Welcome. Oh my god, I love steak. That is a very relatable username. If you're looking. Hey there. Welcome to Newell's. You set up a meeting with Walter Stroud recently. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Let's say you did. Information isn't usually free. Don't duck my questions. I know the seller came through you. I connect a lot of people with a lot of people, you know. Oh, hang I on. Track them all. I'm not dressed for persuasion crap. Thank you, Ansara. I'm asking on behalf of Walter Stroud. I'm sure he can pay you. I guess maybe I can add this to his tab. I know you'd like to help me if you could. Yeah, I hope so. So you're saying no now, but if I annoy you, annoy you enough, you'll say yes eventually, right? I don't get it. Eh, done talking. Not getting more from me about any of this. Really? You're just gonna be fine. Had a freelancer trail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Search the seller's sleep crate. Okay. Goods. We have everything you could possibly want. 
break his knee. No, I like him. He's a little bit paranoid, but he's a good guy. I bet the fine would be lower than the cost of bribing him. That's true. You raise a good point. Excuse me. Wait. Um. I'm confused. Oh, crap. It's giving me two different destinations. No wonder I'm confused. This one. Okay. That was fast. That was a little slow for that complexity of lock, actually. But thank you. Personal correspondence one. I know this is how I keep my correspondence on my computer. To Musgrove, you might not be aware, but there's a certain item that your employer has that others have taken an interest in. Now, I know you're gainfully employed, but what's the harm in a little chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, well, I would want to know if I were you, a friend. I'm not joking, friend. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. Your friend. Per our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time before they come to you for you. Your friend. Every time I go to Neon, I get to thinking, you know, it, it seems like it would be awfully fun to play that new Cyberpunk update. We will get to it. I'm not going to launch into it right away. Everybody's playing it. Yep, I am. Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. No, thank you. I prefer alcohol. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try something different? No. Nope. New planet, new city, new experiences. New addiction. No, thank that. you. No. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? Yes, yes you can. It's all that capitalism does, basically. Um, I have a meeting here later, worried about security. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. 
Say I needed security to be on my side if a fight broke out. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. I would love to be a VIP. Excellent. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. I wouldn't be spending this lavishly if I weren't getting to the point where we're finally starting to make crap loads of credits really easily. I think I am going to have to accelerate my scavenger thing, though, because in my other playthrough, that's really when it started to accelerate outrageously. Uh, who? Interesting that they let you ask about this. Who created the music for this place? Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. <laughs> got plenty here to choose from. Let's see what they've got. Aurora? Oh, you can just buy Aurora. Okay, that's fun. Astro Lounge Special Sangria. Gazpacho, wow. An orange. Oh, I guess they can't legally have champagne anymore because uh, Earth is an uninhabited wreck and therefore no wine is ever produced inside the region of champagne. Melon caviar. Aurora Borealis at this time of the day, this part of the planet located entirely in the playlist of your club's music? Yes, that's how that works. I think there's a quest related to Borealis. I seem to recall picking up an activity from someone talking about them in here. Actually, that does sound familiar. I don't remember if it's this particular playthrough or my other one. Let's have a quick look-see. Uh, for some reason, it's doubling up on talking to Sergeant Yumi. Sarah Morgan. Oh, that's... I needed to talk to her, right. Um, stimulant for Dr. Darvish. Tell May you want to run the Red Mile? No. Juliana, Sam Coe. No, I think it must be my other playthrough. I don't think I've got that one yet. This Aurora stuff is blowing my mind. Hell yeah! This is awesome! I have it? Wait. Zora. Renee. Paradisa. Oh, you're right. Borealis. I wonder where that one is. Right here. How do I get there? Not this way, apparently. Probably go back down, then. Oh, being, yeah, being the DJ, I guess that would, uh, that would help. Hey, Hammer, how's it going? Okay. Yeah. 
that's about it. Maybe it is through this way, staff only. This looks like it. I feel like I know him. Yeah, sorry, I don't do autographs. Yeah? Okay, cool. Cool. Most people that come up to me just want an autograph or a picture. And after I've been modding all night, it gets really annoying. Very spiky. She almost looks like she's out of Baldur's Gate. That's the price of stardom, I guess. Oh, so it's my fault. I suppose next you're going to tell me it's okay for fans to start stealing stuff, too. Stealing? Our music slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figured out on that thing. And someone ripped me off. Total drag. I could help you find your slate. Oh, man. Wow. That would be so cool. Yeah, please. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. What exactly do you have on your music slate? Songs. Lyrics. Poems. All of my thoughts, basically. We're talking three years of stuff. It's not like I can just rewrite everything. Some of those moments of inspiration are long gone. Out of my mind. That's why I write them down. Why is the slate so important? The thing is, I perform here at the lounge. Every single night. Which means I can't repeat the same set over and over. I have to keep it real. If it keeps the music flowing, then it'll be worth the effort. Exactly. So, anything you can do to help is appreciated. Yeah, they oh, seem to have overlooked that in this day and age. Me, talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica. And she's a walking grapevine. Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? Alright. Do you have any idea who might have taken your slate? Hmm. Well... Most of the people who come through here are fans. And they're either zoned or just digging the results. That leaves collectors, competitors, or just a thief trying to make a cred. It could be anyone, really. People try to put a price on everything. Doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only a matter of time before you get cut. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. All right, let's see. See you on the flip. Let's go find this Micah person. We have auto cloud storage today. That's true, but the technology level in this game is a little bit skewed. It's really super advanced in some ways and kind of behind in others. I mean, hell, I've got VHS tapes. Uh, do I not have an active quest at the moment? That's weird. Super fan, speak to Micah. Oh, we still have to return to Antonio, too. I forgot about that. We finally got rid of the boots. Yeah, I'm getting used to that slowly on Sorry, It just kind of trips me up every time, for a little while at least. Alright, let's see what Micah's got for us. Okay, let's settle that this side's once changed. and for all. Velocity? Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. 
down your third velocity and you're out cold. Um Chimera, you're floating on freaking cloud nine. I don't know about you, but that's where I'd rather be. Are we yeah, not supposed to right. start asking? Okay, let's just Of course, of course. We have a full bar at your disposal with a range of delicious alcoholic beverages. If you desire access to the lounge, you can purchase admittance for a completely reasonable fee. A Otherwise, completely reasonable you're fee. You're welcome to relax, listen to our music, and perhaps enjoy a chimera. What's a chimera? It's a specialty alcoholic beverage only served here at Euphorica. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I think I'll pass on the membership for now. No problem. Let me know if you change your mind. If you need anything else, please, don't hesitate to ask. I'm looking for information on a stolen slate belonging to Borealis. I see. I'd be willing to divulge this information for the right price. If it had just been a partially reasonable fee, I might have been less inclined, but a completely reasonable fee sounds completely reasonable. Exactly. How do I know the information is good? Because when you work the bar, your clients tend to be more honest than they'd like to be. <laughs> and besides, information isn't a drink that you can sample. Thank you for your business. The man you want goes by the name of Stratos. You'll find him at Madame Savage's. He's what you would call a fan of Miss Borealis's works. Or maybe fanatic is a more accurate term. Well, actually, anyway, fan is derived from fanatic, you so want. you're basically repeating yourself. But you didn't hear it from me. Saburo has a cross-promotion opportunity for you, if you'd be interested. I don't have any need for that partnership. Okay. Enjoy your Thank drinks. Thank you, Daisy. I've got one point in Persuade so far on Stara, but now that you mention it, since this seems to be a dialogue-heavy storyline, I should probably gear up a little better for it. I'm wearing a hazmat suit. I'm gonna need Nerocom Mark II, and... I might need to go shopping for a better outfit. Where you'll find Nero ants like these. Here, have a look. Does he have the Mark III yet? Let's find out. No, still Mark II. Okay. But we can go with the Mega Corp Executive Suit, which gives you a 5% persuasion bonus. See ya. Carillion, welcome. How's it going? Oh, let's also make sure I'm using the correct amp. Neurocom. Oh, it's diplomacy, not persuasion, but close enough. I know it probably won't work, but it's better than nothing. It makes me feel better, if nothing else. Awkwardly laid out place. <laughs> Mate, oh, I love her music so much. Me too. 
You a fan of Borealis too? I vibe with that bird hard. She's a beast on the beat. And I love her. Got a track in me head right now. Boom! 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 Yeah, you hear it? It's bloody mood, isn't it? I just need some more Aurora so I can get me head bobbing with the wave. Find that zone. Sounds like you're a big fan of Borealis. Yeah, which is why it pains me to be here and not in the Astral Lounge. I can't stand being away from that place. And, uh... But I can't listen to Borealis if I'm not zoning. That bird song deserves the best eye Aurora can fly. Borealis needs her slate back. I was told you have it. Mate, there's no way in hell I'm giving you this. This slate brings me closer to her. As her biggest fan, I feel like I deserve to have it. I'll trade you a... Oh, do I have Aurora to trade? There's got to be a way to, pers to convince you. Why would I part with the one thing that connects me to her? As a superfan, you should do what's best for Borealis. Yeah, I, I do want what's best for her. <laughs> Cobra, wow. Borealis needs the slate to make music. By keeping it, you're depriving the galaxy of new art. Nah, Borealis's music is made from the heart. It's not something you write down. You clearly haven't talked and talked to her. She'll resent you if you keep the slate. I don't want that. She should know I appreciate her. She'll be grateful if you return it. Really? I didn't think she even knew who I was. I'm not leaving till you give that slate back. Go ahead. See if I can. Ah, oh, crap. I'm keeping the slate. Me and Borealis. We got a connection. I'm not letting you mess with that. That was so close. Can play on repeat for hours, and it never gets old. More kneecapping. Mate, there's no way in hell I'm giving you this. This slate brings me closer to her. As her biggest fan, I feel like I deserve to have it. Uh, how could you steal from your idol? I didn't steal anything. Borealis always says her music belongs to her fans. So I just took what was mine. That's not how it works. I don't know. I think it is. Yep, same. I'm not giving up this slate. I'll trade you Aurora for it. You said yourself the music isn't the same without it. Well, if you bloody add any, maybe we could talk. Okay. I was afraid I was going to give up the quest item from another quest line. Later. All right, fine. We're going back. How do I get out of here? This way. Kind of does. Kind of does steak. I can see that. Now I have to find that place again. Crap. Come on. I think it was this way, wasn't it? Probably, Cobra. Probably. Oh, can we actually get it here? We can probably get it here. What's up? Sure. I've got a minute. I just wanted to say thanks for the daring rescue back there. No problem. I had plans for Matsura, of course, but I appreciate the backup. Glad to help out a fellow Constellation member. It's good to be part of a team, isn't it? To be 
part of something so much bigger than any one of us. So many things can go wrong out there. Working with people you can trust is important. And that's why I've been in Constellation so long. It's good to have people who will help out when you're in a jam. I'm glad to be part of a team. Uh, just wait till we get matching shirts and start having official cookie days. Cookie days? I'm in. I do like cookies. They're one of humanity's greatest achievements. Modern medicine, space travel, and cookies. Okay, we're keeping Barrett for a while. Quite pro cookie, because you see, we value human accomplishments. Speaking of which, I'm glad you joined Constellation. Thank you, Barrett. Just figured I'd mention it since we haven't had much time to chat before. <clears throat> you know. Being a member of Constellation has given me a lot of opportunities and a fair bit of stress, I'll admit. It's hard to imagine just who I'd be had I never joined up. I would have never done so many things, met so many people. It's mind-boggling how different I would be. And I never would have met Irvin. Or lost him, I suppose. Wow, Ansara. That phrasing. It's impossible to know what could have happened. That's right. We can't know the consequences of the choices we never made. And anything beyond that is imagination alone. But for the choices we made, it feels just a bit closer, doesn't it? Urban's been gone for over 20 years. Strange how memories can pop up when you least expect it. Sorry, Barrett. I don't know what to say. Yeah, don't worry. Logically, I know I should be over it. But I'm not, and it's gotten worse lately. I've ignored my feelings about Irvin's death since it happened. It's time for me to confront it. I'm just fortunate that Constellation has been a supporting home for me since Irvin died. I mean, where else would I get to dodge space pirates and discover new planets? Exactly. On that note, I think I'd do well to distract myself with a little adventure for a bit. Sounds good. If you're planning on using Aurora, we respectfully ask you do so in the members' lounge. May I recommend a Chimera? Oh, she's not going to sell it here, is she? No, okay, we have to go back to the lounge then. Sorry, I'm not now paying your... Back, relax, and unwind. I'm not going to pay your membership fee just to get some of that crap. Right, here. Mission. We have plenty of Aurora. Can I get you something to drink? Start with a drink, perhaps? Just one, please. Come back soon. Excuse me.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. No, no, no. I, I don't want to talk to you. Favor. No. I'm, I'm, I appreciate the warning. Thank you. We got to look out for each other, right? Yeah. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful. With all the muggings and shakedowns. Okay. But kind of wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. I might check these guys out. Well, you find them at Madame Sauvages. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. Oh, fine. The disciples and all. Have a heart. Hey, thanks. Look, I mean. I'm just handing money out at this point. Love the bag in this city. If I want chill vibes, I head over to Euphorica. But Borealis works with any means. Mate, there's no way in hell I'm giving you this. This slate brings me closer to her. As her biggest fan, I feel like I deserve to have it. Bloody hell, is it that obvious? Damn ears have been ringing so loud, I can't even hear the beat anymore. Okay, you can have the snake. But next time I stop by, I want to hear a mod so sick, it beats the piss out of my brain. Okay then, sir. Ugh. I'm just glad I didn't end up having to buy that extra thing at the other place as well. Then we can wrap up this storyline and get back to the one that actually brought us here in the first place. Before Walter thinks we've completely forgotten him. Probably cheaper too, but what can you do? Feeling Wanting to punch this guy. Found your slate. Turns out a fan picked it up. A fan? Really? Although, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. They can get pretty possessive. Doesn't matter if it's my things or my time. Sounds tough. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. Yeah, it's not all bad. Love can be toxic, but can be beautiful. Sometimes, people just confuse the two. But, sounds like it all worked out in the end. I've got my slate, which means the people will get their trip. Inspiration's like a wave. Sometimes, it's hard to catch it before the break. That's what this slate is. A still wave. A feeling frozen. And I What the heck, Ultra? 46 months? Aren't you supposed to be streaming? What's going on? It's good to see you. How are you doing tonight, Ultra? Oh my god, you... Okay, I guess that explains that. How's it going, Ultra? Thank you so much for bringing your folks over. How are you doing this evening? What's going on? How did the rest of your stream go? Streaming? Yeah, rumor has it you do that on occasion. How did RimWorld go? What happened with your colony? Tell me all about it, please. I would love to know. Folks, if you've never been here before, first of all, if you're here... And you don't know Ultra, go follow her. She's amazing. She's awesome. Let me get her shout outs. Sorry, uh, Borealis here is going to have to wait a moment. 
We self-tamed you. You were a mega sloth. I actually, I heard something about that just before I had to take off earlier. Uh, I'm very tired tonight, actually, so mega sloth sounds exceptionally appropriate. I approve. There we go. Uh, did that, what? Did, I guess we already had one. Either that or maybe that's another thing that's not working for me tonight. Oh, well. I rolled a natural one trying a charisma check as Modius in your last session. Oh, no, Zerpy. That sounds awkward. Um, okay, guys. So if you are brand new here in the channel, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a narrative streamer here on Twitch. I play a lot of story-driven games. I also play a lot of games that let you create your own story. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I also have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. No oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that. Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here. Thank you again so much, Ultra. And thank you, everybody who came in with Ultra. Thank you for supporting her raid. It's uh, really wonderful to have you all here. We're working on some Starfield tonight, although the area I'm in, I could forgive you for thinking that maybe I'm playing Cyberpunk. We will get to the new Cyberpunk stuff. I'm going to give that a month or two. Uh, you know, we'll get to it later in the year, probably Spider-Man as well. Uh, around Christmas, I'm definitely going to be playing the new Spider-Man game. I don't want to dive into it too quickly, though, because, uh, you know, pretty much everybody is playing those right now. And I'm still way too invested in Starfield and in Baldur's Gate 3 right now. Uh, okay, I guess we're about done with Borealis, actually. Okay, we will do that. Now, let's get back onto our mission for Walter. That is a main story mission, so spoiler warnings in effect. Uh, I have been largely avoiding the main story, but we're diving into it a little bit tonight. Okay, check the door controls. Let's do this one. I will be vague about what's going on, so just in case you have to duck out, you've probably got a few minutes before you really need to worry about anything. the heck I just used this
Oh, oh, okay. I get it. I get it. You're out there a lot, right? In space? Just do us all a favor and never turn into one of those spacers. No promises. Scum of the galaxy. Robbing, stealing, killing. Even the Crimson Fleet don't trust him. Okay, then. There we go. That's better. Okay. So, let's see here. Spacers kind of suck. Yeah, they kind of do. It's true. So if we go there. No. Oh. This. How does... You know what? Let's redo this. I don't like that combo. That one's hurting my brain. I'm too tired for that. This one's better. There we go. Scheduling. This room has been booked by Redacted. Please see Boone Morgan for scheduling conflicts. Whoops. Adding new user to remote door control override. Approved hand signal will allow user to lock door to VIP lounge a total of one times. Okay. Careful not to lock us out of the system. I know you know that. Okay, so what's going on now? I guess we're probably going back to talk to Walter. Oh, maybe not, actually. Oh, no, we are. We're going up to the office. Oof. Wow. I spent a fair bit, didn't I? Oh, then again, I did some ship upgrades, too. You know I went to chef school? This ain't exactly where I saw myself. How are the preparations coming? It's done. Let's get to this meeting. Uh, I found out the seller is pretty desperate. Should give us an edge. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Oh, come on! Seriously? All right, back to the lobby we go. Who does the voice of that character? Ms. Eklund, or Mrs. Eklund, I guess. She sounds kind of familiar, but I can't place it. It is Hellfish. This is amazing. It's a great game. I'm so freakishly addicted to this. And Stara here in chat actually posted something into the Discord the other day that really resonated how this can be like six or seven different experiences, each of which could be a full game. So there's really something for everybody in it. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Ramsey and Travers, the scientists who discovered neon gas. Are they? <laughs> Use the code phrase to identify the seller. Got it. I 
was really hoping for a message written in invisible ink. But this will have to suffice. <laughs> Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Janelle Lynn Randall. Doesn't sound familiar. Interesting. 110 hours in and haven't touched base building. I've done barely any outpost building. Let me check how far in I am. I've got two playthroughs going, so this is not... This is not comparable to a lot of people. Plus, I've been freakishly addicted. I am 252 hours in between two different plays. Uh, okay, security briefcase. Probably not him. Same guy. Yeah. This is a hurry up and wait mission, isn't it? What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? I'm with Ramsey and Travers. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Okay, I guess we found the cellar. It's party time. Get I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. One step closer to our goal. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands. And we're not dead. How does that sound? It sounds like most of my operations, actually. Close the deal, get the artifact. This will be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Is he not coming along? Okay, fine. Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic as it is. No promises. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. I'll sit. No sense making anyone uncomfortable. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Be reasonable. We can't just come up with double out of nowhere. Not my problem. It is if you leave empty-handed. We came here in good faith. Now honor our previous agreement. You either figure out a way to give me what I want, or I walk out of here right now. What the? Security! You're not going anywhere until we have a deal. 
The security team and I have an understanding. They won't interfere. As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. Okay, that was kind of cool. We have it. This couldn't have gone better. Well done. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Okay, this is not the most action-packed of storylines, but I really love this. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Who the hell are you? Ah, Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Maybe I spoke too soon. Don't do this. Don't die just to get a rock back. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? I'd love to see you try, sir. Give me a chance to talk to Slayton directly. We can sort this out. Oh, crap. Ads in progress. I'll be right back. You know, for just getting around, I think I prefer this design to the usual design. Oop. The more narrow wheelbase is... Ah. <laughs> Sorry, Garshall. Oh my god. Uh, it's... It, it's much easier to maneuver, mostly, until somebody rides a horse into you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I appreciate that. Oh my god, what on earth? Wow. <laughs> I'm not finding that body. Whoop. Whoops. Oh. Oh, that was so close. Holy crap, how am I not... Reaper Leviathan sighting guys. There we go, finally. There is no way, not even in an adventure game, that I'd be able to get all those locks open. That is one huge door. I read your detective books wonderfully over the top. Wait, is that supposed to be Douglas Adams? Oh my god. It's Douglas Adams and Terry Pratchett. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. Thanks. Not you. Oh. I do kind of have in mind all the happenings before. Um. Uh. <laughs> uh. Climb tree. This tree is dead and seems to be free. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I completely spaced on... Uh, I guess I was distracted by the quest line. I, I spaced on the upcoming ad break there. Uh, okay, anyway. Give me a chance to talk to Slayton directly. We can sort this out. I'm listening. Your boss didn't understand what he had. Constellation will share its secrets if you let us go. Really? Huh. That might change things. Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Hey, Bank, how's it going? Good luck with that. 
Sending armed men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Sounds like a plan, sir. Uh, this way. I can't believe that. My first critical success in a persuasion. That's pretty cool. Just doing the Mantis mission again. Oh, really? Why is that? Did you start a new playthrough or did you reload or something? How do we... Oh. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. What? There goes our way out. That's my ship. Can I steal it back? Because that would actually be pretty badass. Who is this Nikolaus Slayton, anyway? The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters. How did they know it was us? The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. We need to get Slayton off our backs. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Okay. Oh, New Game Plus. That's kind of why I'm doing a bit more of the main story mission. I want to check out this New Game Plus I keep hearing so much about. Plus, it'll make it a little easier for me to watch other people playing uh, Starfield in streams. I won't have to worry so much about spoilers. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I need to make an appointment to see Nicholas Slayton. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. I won't need to take up much of his time. We've just had a misunderstanding. Arguments with Mr. Slayton tend to go long. I'm not sure we can fit you in. I know you'd like to help me if you could. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. So you're saying no now, but if I annoy you enough, you'll say yes eventually, right? You know what? I may be starting to like you. I'm glad you're starting to come around to my point of view. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Auto persuade. He did? Oh, yes, I do remember overhearing something about that. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. I'm starting to think I may need to push a few points into persuasion as well. It might be useful. I've just got so many things I need Hoping to put to points meeting? into. Wait, this clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Yes, sir. Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, <laughs> okay? Follow her instructions. Understood. <laughs> no, I'm an elevator person now. I build my kingdom here. <laughs> I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Okay. Use the vent system to slip around the There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Just call me Gordon Freeman.
You went with the elevator person line? Nice. Hey, Nubby, how's it going? Hang on a second here. Ugh, apparently shoutouts are another Twitch thing that are just not working for me. I hope that's fixed by tomorrow. I need to be able to switch that's over to Baldur's Gate. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to be able to raid. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. Nothing really useful. Oh. Well, maybe if I need another way out. This is hopeless. This I'm is out. Worth it. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. It's been broken for me since I started getting ready for stream. Absolutely nobody. Whoops. Who's shooting at me? Stop moving. Thank you. Stealth has not failed. It's just been briefly interrupted. Is there anything useful I can swipe from here? Where exactly are we going again? We're going this way. I'm not gunning down unarmed employees. I don't think. He doesn't believe in cutting losses. He believes in cutting... Uh, his his competitors. That's how he goes. Yeah, this is the extent of my combat. Oh, I've actually put a couple points into lasers. Interesting. 
the civilians are tagged as employee but are marked as hostile. Uh, it was more, I was trying to shoot at the ones that looked like they were pointing weapons at me. Which I suppose doesn't guarantee they were actually pointing weapons at me. Uh, wow, okay. I need to get into more ship fights, and I need to upgrade more, it looks like. Well, I guess that's a good opportunity. We're gonna do scavenging first. Then maybe we'll do some more persuasion. Well, they don't need it now. You are correct, Barrett. See? We're not in any danger anymore. If a firefight breaks out and you put your hands in a position where it looks like you have a weapon even if you don't, then that counts as self-inflicted. Back shortly with chicken nuggets. Are you still working through that one bag, Ultra? Also, welcome back and thank you once again. I would still love to hear all about RimWorld. That bag is huge. I could have gotten through that entire bag probably in... Oh, hello. Probably in two to three weeks, most, maximum. Well, actually, I don't know. That might not be true. They're McDonald's, right? I'd probably have to see. We didn't lose anyone. We did a tribal sh uh, startup story. Honestly, a good day, all things randy, random considered. Very nice. I'm trying to think of how long it's been since I ate anything from McDonald's, and I think... It's gotta be coming up on like 25 years. Okay, let's see. You know, it keeps wanting us to go up the tower, but I seem to spend an awful lot of time climbing down. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over. Ah, standoff time. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? Call off your guards, Slayton, and release my ship. You have what's mine. I indirectly. 
have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. You and Walter are business people. Some arrangement can be made. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think... It would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. Oh, crap. Decide, as in we could let him go. If you wish, you will have the opportunity to tell him yourself, shortly. Let the thief go with a sternly worded warning or get the authorities involved. Up to you. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. I mean, technically, I am a actually a Free Star Ranger. I would be the authorities. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. All right, let's see what we got here. Sadly, I don't... Oh. <laughs> um, well, that's a problem. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. He wants me to decide what to do with you. Why did you steal the artifact? I want the whole story. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. you damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is, it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. Even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. We're letting you go. Get out of Neon while you can. I... Thank you. You're welcome. But if I were you, I wouldn't expect leniency around here after this. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. I'm surprised he went along with that. Let's talk more back at the ship. Wow. That, that, that was easy. That's not at all how I expected that to go down. I thought he would fight us on that. Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Yeah. It's more like I'm done with him, but okay, I'm not going to press the point. I figure he mostly wanted to see what kind of people he was partnering up with. Uh, okay, when you put it that way, actually, that makes a good deal of sense. The number of security guards, friends, you gunned down to get up here, they cool to j just let you walk out of here? That's kind of why I'm surprised. But, I mean, this is Freestar Collective territory, even though it looks like cyberpunk, so... You know, things are a little, literally, Wild West. A little less Wild West in there, but still kind of Wild West. Didn't like Jim in accounting anyway. Nobody did. 
everyone was kind of secretly glad to see him take his leave, as it were. Okay. Deal with a man who wanted us dead. And I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? Terrible people doing terrible things to each other. What a city. <laughs> you and your wife are cute together. <laughs> Thank you. I guess. Some people call Issa a jewel, but she's more than that to me. I can't really describe it. There's me, and her, and an us. And I wouldn't trade the us for all the credits in Neon. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Oh, no, sir. No forgiveness required. There you go. Uh, yeah, Neon is definitely in Freestar Turf. It is one of their colonies. They don't actually have Freestar security there, but they do have a ranger outpost. That's with the, you know, the one guy that you work with briefly. And then you're right, Ryujin is kind of almost taking the place of Freestar security. Get it? Star Constellation? Yep, exactly. All right, I assume we're going back. Take off from Neon. Oh, wow, no specific destination. We're just going to take off. Time to push some G's. That's an interesting looking ship. That's not any type of ship I recognize. Oh my god, look at this. Because I've got so much stuff in Starship design. Your ship, not an existing design, and that's not a material I recognize. At least tell us more about who you are. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. Oh, we're gonna have a problem then. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Full evasive maneuvers. Let's get out of here. We'll get through this. Hold on. Right. Grab jump. We're going straight back to New Atlantis. I wonder what happens if you give it up. It always feels right. Back to the 
garage first, then review the data second. Yes. Then Talk to Noel or Nobel. Interesting that they called themselves Starborn. By the way, Cap. Thank you so much, Ultra. Have a wonderful night. I will catch you again very, very soon. Dragonborn in space. Well, there's a... yeah, yeah, there's a reason the name caught my eye. You're handling this whole captain thing really Really, well. Ultra? I'm not familiar with that reference. But then I haven't gotten around to actually watching the third movie yet, either. Well, there's no reason they have to keep using the same one. They've got it twice now. You know, they had the uh, Soul Survivor, as well as the Dragonborn. We now only have the two instances. It's it's not a pattern yet. If they come up with a third IP and continue to use it, that's when you gotta worry. Oh, Star Lord, yes, yes. Okay. How is Neon? Are you are you okay? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. I need you to look at the data from my ship sensors. Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. Uh-huh. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star Lord. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with our parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up. Uh, another house for room. I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here. A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just going to say it: intelligent alien life or extra-dimensional beings, the original creators from the furthest fringes of space, or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. I'm with Sam. That starship design could easily be human. Just because we can't ID it, doesn't mean it's not one of ours. It's got shields, engines, all the usual settled systems tech. I don't mean to judge your grasp of material engineering, but I've never seen a starship built out of whatever that is. Although I bet if you put that ship hull in an artifact under the same lens, you'd get a match. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. Something I'd like to discuss. Okay. Yeah. Ron Hope was a real piece of work, wasn't he? Oh, we're going back to that suddenly? <laughs> In before Tic Tac reference? What do you mean, Elfish? 
He was a despicable person. Despicable is too kind a word. He held innocent people with little regard, treating their lives like numbers on a balance sheet. It's an absolute disgrace. I couldn't agree more. <sighs> I'm relieved to hear you say that. Letting him off the hook would have been a terrible injustice. It's a shame that the well-being and livelihoods of hundreds of Hope Tech employees are now in jeopardy. Taking a bribe to overlook his crimes would have been a horrible thing to do. Had you taken the money, this would have been a very different conversation. I'm proud of you. It took a lot of integrity to say no to that offer. If I've learned anything from this, it's that money isn't everything. No, it certainly isn't. Especially when it comes at the expense of human lives. Well, I think I've lectured you enough. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me. Not the conversation I expected to have at this moment, but okay. Uh, who else do we need to talk with? What do we need to do here? I don't think I have any new ones to contribute. You need something? Mm, I don't know. I can't quite go up you there. Got something for me? No. What are we up to now? Oh, did I not add it to the collection? Uh, the time's right. I appreciate it, Chad. Sure. Okay, so I did add it to the collection. I just needed to go through the motions again. Talk to Vladimir. Never regretted coming out of retirement. Constellation's got the writ of the righteous. Keeps me young. You had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there. The Eye can help you find the artifacts. But I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. I'm ready. Give me any data on the artifacts you have. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. Okay. Your Golga? Return to the lodge. Please, the other I do want to get a few more of those abilities. There's one in particular I'm really missing. It would have been incredibly handy in that previous mission. spaceport we go I can't keep going for too too much longer but I'd like to try to at least get one more if I can so let's see what our options are actually let's where's our missions Dinian. Oof. Yeah, I think we'll wait on that one. Okay, so we have to do one of these two. Yeah, I don't know what all of them are yet. I only have a few of them in my other playthrough. But there's one in particular that I don't have in this playthrough yet that I really want to get. I'm not sure it's either of these two, unfortunately, but we'll find out. Looks exactly as we I like. have things for you. We'll try this one. A 
Abandoned mine. Going off that way. Okay. Oh. I should probably dress a little more appropriately for this. I don't need a suit. Let's go near attack and hazmat. Oh, sh Who are these guys? I do have the wanted trait, so I think we're going to have to run over there and at least verify that they are or are not bounty hunters. Because it would be real awkward trying to grab a new ability only to have bounty hunters bust in on me. That will count as verification in my book. We're fine. They don't care about us. Don't announce our position, Barrett. We're trying to be all stealth-like. Um, where'd they go? Follow the trails of bullets and lasers. There That's usually what I do. Freezing worlds than cozy ones. <laughs> Take care of the cozy ones more. Oh, they got turrets. You are correct. Right in the butt. Full space wizard, yes. That is the goal. Whoa! You're supposed to let me stealth around a little bit first.
had to be done. What if we leave a few things here and make a second trip? Ridiculous. What a bizarre concept. Although, I have to say, I'm impressed that he suggested a second trip. No other companions ever recommended that before. I will give him points for creativity. I'm not sure if we left any turrets still operational. No, I guess we didn't. Okay. here. Oh, there you are. Instigating lawgiver. coming? He'll have to make his own way in. like operating this close to the edge of detection. here. Be with those guys in just a moment. The patient suffered severe indigestion. I had to clean out his stomach. After analysis of the stomach's contents, we noticed there were many worms. I also noticed the patient's breath was terrible despite having good oral hygiene. Uh, oh, thank, thank you, Barrett.
yours. You said it, sir. Where? Uh, hey, um, when you're not busy, I'm not busy let's chat. Now. <laughs> you're going down. What's up? I have to talk about the Starborn. Do you have a second? You do, right? Not the best time, but okay. What the hell? Right? How could we not talk about it for the rest of our lives? It could be the dawn of a new era of humanity. Or it could be an elaborate prank or any number of mundane explanations. It's definitely aliens. Well, they were definitely unusual, but aliens seem so inhuman, obviously. I just have so many questions. Mm -hmm. We just need more data. Mm -hmm. There has to be a way to draw them out and figure out where they're coming from. We know they wanted the artifact. That has to be significant. It's one of our few facts about them. It seemed very important to them, too. This could be a turning point for humanity, you know? Or it could be just the emergence of a powerful new faction or some sort of elite military tech or a gazillionaire with nothing else to do. Hmm. All we know is that they wanted that artifact badly. We need to know what their motives are. Agreed. That is going to require more observations, more encounters with them. And who knows? Maybe we'll never see them again. Definitely Dusty. never going to see them again. Dusty. That was a one-off. Let's talk. go down there next if this doesn't turn into the route to get there kind of looks like it might not be turning into the route to get there Definitely not the route to get there. got here that looks like that works okay good Okay, this is exactly what I was hoping for when I took that scrounging level. My ammo is starting to skyrocket, and my credits will too.
well, right? Ooh, chameleon refined ground crew pack. Nice. Crippling combat knife. Your imagination, lady. Let's go this way. Oh, Jesus. Another ad break coming up in four minutes, guys. Time is flying by. Advanced. Okay, that's going to go there, then we are going to need that. So up here, that won't work. That will. Oh, shoot. Bad. I missed one. Oh, crap. Okay, it's a waste of picks. I'm gonna restart this. Damn it. I hate it when that happens. Okay, so that works there. goes there and for the outer one Recon calibrated deep recon. Ow. Deep recon pack. Pulsing Calibrated Navigator Space Helmet. Legendary. Very nice.
Ah, crap. I lost track again. I'm so sorry, guys. I will be back in a few minutes. I think I got him. Oh my god. <laughs> I did. Okay, we have damage. Whoa. Ah. Uh, excuse me? I've never had that, that happen before. Holy crap. I'm starting to think that maybe I should not have brought the Cyclops down here. Get him. Do it. Do the thing. <laughs> oh my god, you know, boo. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but that's too funny. Oof. That's just creepy. In our hands anyway. Wow, okay. You don't see that every day. He's got so much reach. Holy crap. was the best. Multi-kill. <laughs> oh yeah, this is good. Why would I do that, Aranar? Okay, sorry about that, guys. I lost track again. It's very easy to do in these missions here. Especially when they start to get kind of intense. I know it wants me to go that way. But the loot is this way. Um. Uh oh. Uh. There we go. They're going to force the issue and make me go that way by bringing the loot along. Okay. I can live with this. None of these missions have been intense. Well, yeah, that's a technicality. Tents don't really work out too well on those airless planets. Might be able to get away with it. Are you circling around? You cheaters. Accurate. There we go. Now we can follow the marker. Ah, this is the real marker.
Space tents, true. And actually, there are some habs that look very much like really big inflated tents that are, you know, pressurized and rather sturdy. Oh. Um. I like your suit, sir. No corpse to loot? What the hell? This is total shenanigans. This is really not the time, sir. When done. Okay, where's the actual artifact? There it is. What is it? I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Really? It got me pretty nostalgic, and I started digging in some old things. Just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. This is what's going through your mind right at this particular moment. Okay. I hope that was a comfort. It was surreal. Honestly. So, most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. But one thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. But the message was garbled after that. Interstellar communication isn't always reliable. True, but this was different. I recognized this pattern from the war. A portion of the message was encrypted. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. Let's get the time machine. Oh, God. What was the message? He said they were going to destroy his life if he didn't leave the planet now. Then he asked me to help clear his name. Said they had a case against him. Oh, he sounded so upset. Let's get the time machine. I know this is probably long done, but I heard his voice. I can't just not look into it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. Who is they? His former employers at some job he took before he died. I think it was a mining company. Framed for what? Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. You didn't notice this encrypted message before? No, I just thought it was garbled. I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. This recording is 20 years old. 
It is, but I was thinking about it, and well, it's still wrong, right? Mm -hmm. So I figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here, see what I can find out. There's got to be a paper trail, right? Now, I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I'd need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. That works. I'll tell them to go ahead with the investigation. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him, <laughs> even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense? Sounds very human. If Irvin then that was that upset, then it must still be important. I appreciate that. It's going to be hard to get some sleep tonight after all this. But the fact that I'm doing something about it might be enough to help. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Of well, what now? Anyway, I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. You can't just drop a name right out of Horizon Forbidden West and not explain, sir. What the hell? Yep. You want to take a moment to shuffle things around? No, it's fine. Oh, I just realized this was an artifact quest and not the other kind of significant quest. Oh well, it's fine. I was not paying attention when I looted these guys. Okay, where to? Hey, Kellen Ray, how's it going? It's good to see you. Sorry, Barrett. Where did I park? Ah, over that way. Okay. I didn't need that ankle. It's fine. I have a spare.
Wow, prognosis is already improved. That's not bad. Oh. I guess I'm just gonna die until I get on board the ship. There we go. Now, I desperately, desperately need to drop some stuff off in the cargo hold. Let's hope I have enough room. That's a lot of resources. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I had meant to add to the stores, not take every single resource on board the ship. No wonder that was a lot. Okay. This is neat. I just completed a quest which ended up giving me a Class C ship for free. Oh, damn. Of course, I can only cl pilot Class B ships, but I'm five kills away from being able to buy up the skills, so gonna be time to hunt some pirates. That is awesome. Congratulations. Okay, so we got that. Man, I got a lot of helmets. probably do. It was an interesting quest. I suspect the reward varies greatly. You're basically asked to design a ship with a committee, and I went with the let's throw money at it approach. <laughs> nice. Since it wasn't my money. Yes, that's always my favorite approach, too. All right, guys. Uh, oh. <laughs> I guess for a moment there, we were doing pretty good on that stimulant collection quest, which means all I really need to do to complete it is take a little bit out of my own storage hold. I think, though, that is going to do it for today. I'm not sure how things are going to go tomorrow, because um, Twitch is being really weirdly twitchy and not doing a lot of things it's supposed to do. I'm going to try to stream Baldur's Gate, though, because my Collector's Edition box set is supposed to be arriving tomorrow. And if all goes well, I'm really, really hoping maybe it'll arrive during stream tomorrow afternoon and I'll be able to show it off. And if it doesn't, then I'll probably end up doing an evening stream, assuming it does arrive sometime shortly afterwards, and I'll show it off at that point. Um, but... So, you know, if I end up streaming Baldur's Gate and my stream title still says Starfield, it's not my fault. I'm trying, I swear. Uh, getting to the passing out time for me, too? Yeah, yeah. There was a budget. I just persuaded them to go over it. Oh, very nice on Star. Very, very cool. All right, guys. Let's see if we can find someone awesome to throw a raid to. I have a pretty good idea of who we're going to go with. But let's find out for sure. Let me just look over the list here. Looks like Hodon Kane is playing some Warframe. Greeny is indeed on. He's the one I was looking for. He's playing Baldur's Gate 3 and getting very close to the end. So I would have to probably raid into him and then pop out because I don't want spoilers. Uh, but, uh, well, that and also it's way after three o'clock and I did not think I was going to be streaming this long. I need to get to bed soonish so that I'm up for a uh, stream tomorrow. Adrios is on doing an art stream. Lunity is playing Liza P. So is What If Julia. 
Itre is playing Starfield. Mandy is playing Cyberpunk. And that's about it for this evening. So uh, I, I think I know where I'm inclined to go. If you guys have any input, I would love to hear it. Don't want to be spoiled? Yeah. I would still like to raid Greeny, though. I think we're going to go with Greeny. Even if I can't stay, I would like to show support. He's a good friend of the channel. He's been a mod here for a very long time. Oh, shoot. I just remembered. It's basically no Twitch commands are working whatsoever for me right now. So I don't even know if I'm going to be capable of raiding. That's going to be fun. Well, we'll give it a shot. If the raid doesn't work either, then what can you do, right? Let me get you his link. We can always do it the old-fashioned approach, where anybody who wants to support the raid just go over manually and use the raid call. So let me give you his link, which is tonight more important than usual. We'll do it like an old school, old fashioned raid. Okay, so that's Greeny's link there. Uh, if you guys can maybe preload that just in case, that would be greatly appreciated. And I will get you the raid call for the channel, just in the off chance that you want to copy and paste that when you're ready and over there, or uh, if the raid actually does go through, that would be nice too. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Shh. It's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you've got emotes of your own or maybe from another streamer, uh, feel free to copy the raid message and arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Greeny's channel manually if necessary, but hopefully the raid will actually carry you over there. And uh, we'll see how he's do going with his Baldur's Gate playthrough. I will be back tomorrow afternoon to work on my own, which is significantly further back. He's getting on towards the very end of the game. I'm still maybe two-thirds of the way to maybe three-quarters of the way through Act 2, I think. I'm not sure. It's hard for me to say since I haven't finished yet. But, you know, it's going to be a good time regardless. So, uh, yeah, let's get over there. And I will see you guys again very soon. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And uh, instead of signing off before I start the raid, let me do that right now. Raid Greeny Trini. Is that... No, wait, wrong raid command. Raid Greeny Trini. No, damn it, it's not working. All right, guys, so if you can use the link that I provided to Greeny Trini's channel, I'm going to get the raid call copied here. We will have to go over manually and do an old school, like 2014 style raid. I don't know what's going on with Twitch. I hope it's fixed by tomorrow, because this is seriously a disaster. So let's get over there, and I will see you guys hopefully over there. Have yourselves a wonderful night, and bye for now.